What's up, Internet? My name is Ori. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and like this video. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. You'll never miss a video. You'll never miss a stream. Today, we're breaking down episode number 11 of Survivor, season 43. And this was an interesting one. I have a lot of thoughts. There's a lot of different things that went on. Let's break it down. Starting from the top, Sammy and Owen, they tried to make a big move. They tried to go for Carla. It all kind of blew up in their face. Noelle went home. So they get back to camp. And Sammy's getting caught here. And it is awkward as he tries to, like, lie and blame Gabler. And then eventually he, like, realizes he can't get out of it. So he just comes clean. But he's like, oh, man. What happened? Like, <laughs> it wasn't me. And then eventually he comes. Yeah, guys, I'm... Yeah, it was me. I'm sorry. Which is worse. Way worse than if he just would have came back to camp and been like, yeah, like, I, I thought it was this. Right? Like, I was told things. I was lied to. I thought one thing was happening. Something else did. I, I'm sorry. I didn't come to you. I thought it was locked in. They lied to me. I believed them. So, he could use that to his advantage to maybe drive a wedge between, like, Jesse and Cody. Right, and Carla, and maybe get in with Carla, but instead he kind of like ruins his relationship. So I thought. Uh, Gabler feels like he is just hiding in plain sight, just sitting right in the middle, doing a good job. He's like, I can go either way, like it doesn't really matter. And honestly, he kind of is like he's in a really good spot right now. Uh, you know, Cody and and, and Jesse, they're not going to be gunning for him. Carla's not going to be gunning for him. Owen's not going to be gunning for him. Cassidy? But, like, why would anyone else go along with it, right? Like, Gabler, Gabler's kind of cruising. I think a lot of them see Gabler as a goat to kind of take with you to the end and just be there, right? It's like, if you're sitting next to Gabler, you're sitting pretty. Uh, I feel like you could say that about Cassidy, right? But who knows what her social credit really is like inside the tribe. Uh, at this moment, or more importantly, what it's going to be like with the jury, which is going to be something that's going to be interesting going forward here as well. We have to keep in mind what's going on with when people are getting voted out, how they're feeling as they're getting going out, and what they're also witnessing at Tribal, since they're there the entire time. Anyway, uh, Gabler feels like he's doing well. Owen feels completely defeated. He he literally says, I haven't been on the right side of a vote. He's like, I haven't voted right since Mariah. The first, the first vote. <laughs> Come on, man. You haven't voted right since the first boot that's not great uh and he keeps talking about how he's charlie brown and everybody he's uh working with ends up going home so I, owen feels like at the lowest of the low sammy continues to try and work on relationship with carla which i i thought was impossible I'm like there's no way he can actually salvage this to any point right uh and he starts going down this path where he's like carly's like well who who said my name first and he's like Cass Cass said your name yeah yes she did and I'm like there's no way there's no way that Carla's gonna believe this right Carla's smarter than that she she won't believe this but you know maybe I was wrong about that because Carla also told Cassidy about her idol and it's like why would you what don't tell anybody about your advantages period just don't do it if you have an advantage, don't tell anybody. It's very simple. Even if you trust that person 100%, don't tell them because that is just something they can use against you. So now she has told Cassidy about this. Cassidy, I don't even think, is using this information against her because we didn't even know that she knew until this moment. But now it's making Carla paranoid and she's thinking, wait a minute, you know, maybe... Because I told her about the idol, she's trying to make a shot at me now because I have the idol and do a whole back, behind the back, you know, blind side here. And it's like, well, Carla, maybe you're just being paranoid. Relaxed. Then Cassidy comes over and she's like, yeah, you know, I just wanted to, you know, kind of get in here and, uh, you know, preemptively try and get to you before Sammy does. Because I know he's going to try and say something. And that 
even is even worse because that kind of makes Carla go even more suspicious of her saying like why do you want to get ahead of anything like what what is going on Ah, and that is just the tip of the drama that we have going on in this episode because the next big thing that we got going on is the next morning a boat shows up and anytime a boat shows up you know something going down (laughs) you know something crazy is about to happen they get a note they say there's an advantage hidden on in the jungle somewhere right and go right like find it so everybody starts running and they're going everywhere sammy walks right by it owen walks right by it cassidy was near it like it, they're, they are all it's comically it's comically crazy how close they all are like they're literally inches to this thing like they're walking by it it feels like they're looking at the thing and they're not seeing it it's it's ridiculous uh Gabler is uh lurping with everyone around the island some kind of navy technique of searching it's it's <laughs> it got a little bit sad at, at, at one point where it's like how do they not see this little envelope hanging on the tree that they're all walking by several times eventually cody's like chilling right he's like doing his thing he's he's leaning against the tree right he's got his head against it and it's right it's like right behind him and he's mid-sentence talking to Gabler about like yeah like i don't know maybe we should give up we're not gonna find it and then he he sees it and like you could he he like stops (laughs) and then he tries to tries to play cool right he like puts his hand on it awkwardly how he didn't get caught, I don't know. But he ends up getting it. He now has the advantage where he gets to place a bet on who will win immunity. Basically, he gets two shots at the immunity. If he wins it, great. If he loses and the person he picked wins, then he's immune at tribal council as well. Pretty cool advantage. And it was a good good challenge. So he ends up picking Owen, which not only I think is a good bet for someone who could win immunity. It's probably like the most terrible person to win immunity if you were Cody, right? Like it, it, Owen still feels like he's someone that could be a possible target. He's not really working with anybody. There's other threats that are in there, right? But like if he wins immunity, who's someone that's name is maybe going to come up? Cody. Where if Cody were to win immunity, hey, who's somebody whose name you can always throw out there? Owen, right? If you're desperate. Uh, so it was kind of a, a good person for him to pick just strategically as well. The immunity challenge, it's a classic. It's that last gasp, hold your breath underneath the metal grate as the tides are rising, giving you less and less space. Uh, this was, it was brutal. The swells were brutal. By the way, they won't know who Cody has placed a bet on. Uh, and they won't find out until tribal, which is kind of a crazy little twist in its of itself. Because really, what ended up happening was they just kind of assumed he was going to be safe uh, and immune uh, at tribal. So they just kind of planned around that, right? And his name probably wasn't really going to be coming up anyway, even if he wasn't uh, 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 immune at, at tribal. But uh, they just kind of they start their decisions all on like yeah he's going to be immune but there's some interesting little things here that would that would happen right whether or not he is immune or not uh and we'll get even further into that uh a little bit later on because there's some there's some there's some fun little twists here uh but the swells in this in this challenge were absolutely brutal they there's times where the water is literally just they're underwater for a really long time like it is it is above the grates about like that much and like there's no way you're breathing you just gotta hold your breath and wait for that swell to go back down gabler was out first sammy was out not too long after uh cody gave a valiant effort really tried to stay under there uh but he's eventually out too they're over nearly two hours in the water eventually cassidy is out carla and owen and technically cody are left in the running for the immunity it was over three hours for them in the water and the tides actually start heading out carla and owen 
they were like Namor in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. They were like just chilling in that water. They they could have been in there for eight more hours as the tides started rising. But that's not how tides work. Tides eventually go back out and uh, they lasted so long. Jeff just kind of says, well, all right, screw it. You both get immunity, <laughs> which means Cody is immune as well. So three people are out of the running to be voted out. There's only four people who are up for grabs here at Tribal tonight. Gabler, Sammy, Cassidy, and Jesse. That's it. Everyone else is immune. Now, there's some interesting little things, again, with how this could all work out, but I, I kind of want to call, talk to them about, about that after, because uh, there's another little factor before we get to the different scenarios, and one that I honestly don't know what they would have done if it worked out this way. But, I digress. <laughs> so with only those four people up for grabs, it was kind of interesting. Well, who, who, who's going to be the person to go, right? Like, where is everything going to go? What's, what's going to happen? And kind of the first thing we get is Carla flipping on Cassidy and wanting to go for her tonight. And it's like, well, Carla, what are you doing? She's your number. She is with you. She's not working against you. You're just kind of being paranoid. If you take her out, you're kind of next. Right? You're the next one to go. Like, why would you do this? Just go for Sammy. Right? If you go for Sammy, you still have Cassidy. Like, she's 100% your number. You can't trust Sammy. He just wrote your name down. Why would you do this? Uh, and uh, this is actually making Jesse think twice. Because he goes, well, wait a minute. If she doesn't want to keep Carla, that must mean she's close to Sammy. So maybe it's best to get Sammy out. He takes her to Owen, and he's just not sure what to trust at this point because he's just been lied to every which way. So he doesn't know if he can trust Jesse because he's lied to him before. He takes her to Cody, who also seems kind of unsure. He's just not sure and kind of wants to just stick with Cassidy. He's like, I just don't know why we don't just do Cassidy. It just seems like a simple plan here. Uh, and it overall, it's actually kind of a good plan what uh, Jesse wants to do. His idea is like, look, we send Sammy out. But by doing that and keeping Cassidy and letting Carla vote for Cassidy, you're going to further drive a wedge in between them, making Cassidy come over to them, and they can just get rid of Carla, who's the real threat of that duo in the first place. So what's it going to be a tribal? It's not really sure. It comes down to pretty much Cody, Jesse, Gabler, and Owen. What do they want to do? They're the deciding votes here at tribal. So what's going to happen? Uh, and listen, when it comes to tribal council, I just got to say it. I'm so over Jeff and these crazy analogies that he's been doing. He actually made a terrible one that last night. He, he literally says, oh, you know, the waves are coming in and going out. It's kind of like the game where, like, things are always changing. You don't know what's going on. It's like, well, that, wait, no, the, things aren't always changing. They're on, like, a cycle with, with, with tides, right? They come in, they come out, they come in, they come out, right? It's cyclical, right? It's not just always changing you don't know what's coming like you know what's coming with the tides <laughs> the, you can kind of time things with the tides if you go and think about it actually maybe you could have timed things better with the competition but <laughs> i don't think he had a fundamental understanding of tides that's his problem <laughs> but listen I, my point is make tribal fun again just ask legit questions not this stuff to set up like sound bites that they're doing all the time just get in there and and ask them like who do you trust who don't you trust like what's going on ask pertinent information not bs sammy though sammy though makes a decision Sammy decides he's going to play his shot in the dark, which basically means he rolls the dice, he gets a uh, chance to be safe, and if he is safe, he, he gets immunity, right? He can't be voted out. But for doing this, he gives up his vote, right? So if he's not safe, he doesn't have a vote now, and his fate's kind of out of his hands, right? So you really want to be safe, or you're risking your vote. It's kind of just that last chance, uh, you know, shot in the dark, hence the name. Uh, 
Uh, this, much like the knowledge of power advantage, has not had the best trap record so far. I believe it's, um, oh, that's right, it's never worked. Uh, so, Sam and this decides to do this. And, okay, this is that other little piece where, potentially, everyone could have been safe here, right? If the shot in the dark works, and Sammy is safe, we got three idols in play. So that would mean there were only three people who were up for the vote. Potentially, everyone could have been safe this round. But we'll get to that. I want to go deeper into that conversation because I, how does that work? Anyway, Sammy just tries to do this. So he won't have a vote. But he also kind of says, like, listen, from the people I talked to today, if what I think is going to happen happens, my vote shouldn't matter. Right? So I'm going to take the shot in the dark. Things will still go out as, as planned, and that will be it. Carla kind of feels like she's like, I I don't like this. <laughs> and Sammy pushes back. He's like, listen, I, you know, I think if everything's supposed to be happening the way I think, it shouldn't matter. And he really kind of pushes back. And he uses his shot in the dark. Doesn't work. It doesn't work. He is not safe. And he does get voted out. Actually, everyone voted him out, including Carla. And this is where I kind of want to know. Was his fate sealed when he decided to use the shot in the dark? Or did Jesse flip it with Cody and they just decided to go with Sammy and Carla jumped on board with it too and they didn't want to leave her in the dark? I, I, I really am kind of interested in that. Now. Let's talk about ever, but it could have been safe. So think about this here. Cody was safe because of the idol, right? Carla was safe because she won. Owen was safe because he won. Sammy, if he plays his shot in the dark and he's safe, Jesse has an idol. And if there's only three people that are up, Cody might actually think, well, I can't lose Jesse. So he could play his idol for Jesse. But he doesn't know that Jesse has an idol. Janine's idol, who's sitting on the jury. I can't wait for that moment where he gets to play that idol or show that idol to Janine and say, like, hey, <laughs> I actually have this. So I can't wait for that. But Cody could play his idol for Jesse. Now Jesse's safe. Okay, but what if then Jesse decided to have his idol and play it for Gabler because he's the only person that would be left to vote for other than Cassidy. And then what if Carla goes, wait a minute, I'll play my idol for Cassidy. Everyone would have been safe. What would they have done? Would all of the immunities be null? Would just the ones won from the challenge be good? So Cody's would still be good? Who ends up going in that scenario? Probably still Sammy. But would his role, his shot in the dark count still? If so, that then would have wiped everybody's idol. Jesse, Gabler, and Cassidy would have been the ones up. And honestly, like I said, nobody was gunning for Gabler. That could have been just like the easy vote where like, they maybe did like a little bit of a live, tri this would have had to been a live tribal situation if this would have went down this way. But I'm really fascinated on what would have happened. What if everybody would have been safe? What would they have done? There has to be a contingency plan, but that, that's all I could think about was what if, what if they all just ended up having an immunity here? It wouldn't have worked out that way. I, I almost, for, and for certain, they would have probably just let it go to a vote before somebody used their idol. Like, I think Jesse's holding on that idol, like, Especially if Cody used his idol on him or something. Yeah, he's holding on to that idol for, for sure. But it would have been interesting. And I want to know your guys' thoughts. Like, what would have happened if everybody would have been immune? Because the, mathematically, it was possible with the number of advantages that went on. Also, what did you think of the episode? I really liked it. it Carla, Carla, Carla. I don't know what's going on. Uh, maybe this is just like a weird edit where it showed her making some silly mistakes. One, telling Cassidy about her idol, huge mistake, whatever. 
but maybe her targeting her wasn't really that real and she was always going to go for Sammy because there's no reason for her to trust Sammy. So that makes me kind of doubt her going forward. Maybe Jesse is someone who's in a better position right now. But like I said, Gabler is in a position where nobody's going to be targeting him. Cody seems to have a good relationship with everybody. I'm fascinated to see how this is all going to be turning out. We only have a few more episodes to go here uh let me know in the comments down below what did you think of the episode uh thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you are new here hit that subscribe button if you like this video hit that like button hit the notification bu bell so you never miss a video you never miss a stream once again thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it. you can find all of my links for my socials in the description and a pinned comment down below my twitch my twitter uh my discord where you can join the conversation over there as well and i will see you next time.